guys, so today I have a second 100% pure haul video that you guys said you wanted to see. Um, this is sort of like spilt over from my last one because if you remember, if you watched my first 100% pure video, you would know that I'd gotten a bunch of vouchers from Guilt City and I actually did buy, I think it was four or five more that I had sort of kept waiting. Um, to use maybe or give as gifts and I did buy some stuff for gifts and I gave a couple as gifts but I did still pick up quite a bunch more stuff with the leftover vouchers that I had so I thought that I would share that stuff with you and it's it's a lot it might be more than last time and there's also the ones that I got from the Cyber Monday sale in here they were having like a ten dollar per product sale from various products and I picked up four products from that. This is just another 100% pure haul and I got lots of stuff to show you guys. So I don't think there's any particular order that I can do this in. So I guess I'll just start with like body stuff. Um, body and face. I didn't... You know I'm not crazy about the 100% pure skincare. I did get a couple of masks in my last haul and they're sort of okay. I'm still testing them and playing around with them but I haven't been too overly impressed with the skincare that 100% Pure offers, so I didn't want to pick up any more of that, but I did get the Brightening Scrub and Mask from their $10 Cyber Monday deal. So this one is Skin Brightening. I haven't used this one yet, but I think I can sort of tell that there's like little granules in here. Um, this one says it's formulated specifically to enliven dull looking complexion to make it more vibrant, healthy, and glowing. Rather than harsh chemical skin knot lighteners, this 100% pure formula gets its brightening effect from all natural gentle ingredients like berberry, kojak acid, sake, fruit, aceta, licorice, vitamin C, lemon, juicy, and strawberries. <laughs> I think that's supposed to say lemon juice. <laughs> um, this one product, two functions. They need some editing help over there. <laughs> Um, it is a highly nourishing facial mask to rejuvenate your skin, and the perfectly round jojoba beads act as a gentle exfoliant to buff away dullness, bumps, and dead skin cells. So I am excited to use this. It's got um, pomegranate seed oil, lemon juice extract, um, jojoba beads, pineapple, papaya, strawberry, raspberry. So lots of really good brightening things in here. So I'm hopefully I'm hoping that I like this one. And then I'll, I'll give this a couple of tries as well as some of the other masks I have. And I am planning on doing a 100% pure like mask overview video since now I have four. So exci I'm excited to give that one a try and get that out for you guys hopefully soon. So then I also picked up the pink grapefruit body scrub from the $10 sale. I think normally their scrubs run like 30 something dollars which is damn expensive for a scrub. But I mean everything really at 100% pure is expensive. That that mask was $32 like regular priced I believe. So they did have a coconut scrub um, that I was thinking about picking up but I procrastinate and it got sold out. So they do they did add some new products while their sale was going on for to replace the ones that sold out and so they offered a new scrub the pink grapefruit one so I did want to pick that one up because I did want to give their body scrubs a try and I've heard from a lot of people that they love the formula of the body scrubs so I'm expecting to love this one, and I love grapefruit scents, like it smells really good. So there's that, I'm excited to give that a try. <clears throat> and that's really all of like the skincare, body care stuff I got, everything else is all makeup. Um, so I'm going to start with some nail polish. They had a sort of like secret grab bag of nail polishes. They offered seven nail polishes, I think it was $29 for their Black Friday special. And I really have been wanting to try their nail polishes for quite a long time. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to get a bunch of them, especially for for pretty cheap, because usually they're $12 each. And then I think the top coat runs a little bit, I don't know, some of them I think are a little bit more expensive. But um, this gave me the opportunity to buy seven with for the same price that it would have costed me to buy like two and a half. So these are the colors that I got. <clears throat> So I did also pick up the glass top coat. This didn't come with the set, but I wanted to, I, I like to use top coats with specific brands. I don't know why, I have a thing about that. But I, so I picked up the glass top coat and then it came with jam, which is a really pretty like red berry color. I like that one, that one's really pretty. Then it came with velveteen, which I also really like. Truffle. Um, Ibiza, so it's like a shimmery red color, 
And then these three are, I think are more suited to spring because they're sort of like lighter springy shades. This one's green tea ice cream, <laughs> which is very, very light green. Wedding, which is like a sparkly cantaloupe color or light cantaloupe color. And then there's this one actually called cantaloupe, which is a sparkly darker cantaloupe color. So those are the nail polishes that I've gotten. I haven't tried them yet, um, but I will. And I'll let you know how I like them. I hear a lot of people really like them, so I'm, I'm expecting to like them. So now we'll move on to makeup because that's all that's left. In my last haul, you'll remember I picked up the Sex Kitten palette. And I had talked about wanting the Mermaid palette because it had the prettiest um, packaging. I ended up getting the Sex Kitten palette because I thought the colors made more sense. But then I saw somebody use the blush from the Mermaid palette and I really, really liked it. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the Mermaid palette. So here's the, the cover for the Mermaid palette. And then the colors in the mermaid palette which I just touched one but these are the three shadows the shadows are siren coral huh just kidding backwards the <laughs> this is siren which is sort of like a luminescent powder but it's almost dark enough to probably be partly like a bronzer the blush is coral so then this is shell which is like a gold color sea glass which is a green and then starfish starfish which is a pretty purple color. So I am excited to use a lot of the colors in here. Like this green though, I don't know how much I'll get used, but I really like this color and the blush and the uh, luminescent powder were why I wanted to end up picking this one up. So I'm excited to use that. I do really love the highlighter that's in the Sex Kitten palette. I actually use that quite often. I didn't use it today, I meant to, but I forgot to. But I actually use that quite a lot. I'm excited about having a second one of these. I, I don't, I really don't think that I'll be picking up the Punk Princess one because the colors in that one just really don't speak to me. They're really dark and um, yeah. But okay, so then I also got the Coco Glow like bronzer powder thing. Um, I had been hesitant to pick this up because I don't use a lot of bronzers. I don't use any bronzers. I did sort of like try a contour thing today. I don't know, did it work out? Um, using a Fit Glow, the Fit Glow Sculpt product. So I decided to pick this one up because I have seen some people use it and it just makes their skin look really glowy and beautiful. And I I don't know why I'd been afraid of this. I think I'd, I'd seen someone say that it was like red toned, but it's not, at least not from what I can tell, it's not, it's not really red toned. I don't know, but it's like a nice sort of like sheeny, bronzer so I'm excited to you know use that and make my face look glowy and pretty so then I also picked up some more blushes I believe I only picked up one initially and then I really liked the formula of it I really liked the way that it looked on my skin so I decided to pick up quite a few more so the one that I got during the Black Friday sale was chiffon they had this one for ten dollars so of course this one's a little hard to open though for some reason can't open it. It's like stuck in there. I'm gonna get it eventually, guys. So they did have one that they offered for $10 during their Cyber Monday sale. So it was chiffon, and this is like a really pink. It's like a soft baby pink color. It is pretty, and I'm excited to use it. So there's that one. So I did get chiffon. And then I also picked up Plum. I picked up Plum, which they had to send me twice because the first time it came all shattered. So they had to send me a replacement. And this one is, whoa, even brighter on camera than it looks in person. So it's like a super hot pink, which you guys knew. You guys know I love those. But, you know, luckily it looks like it doesn't... It looks like it'll probably be easy. It looks like it'll probably be easier to wear than it looks in the pan because it could probably be blended out quite a bit. So I'm excited to use that one over summer. I definitely don't think I could pull that off um, at this time of year. And I also got three more that I probably won't smotch, <laughs> smotch, swatch. I got Pretty Naked, which I have worn since I got it. It's just like a nice neutral color that would go with like if you're wearing like a darker smoky eye look or something like that. I like to wear this one when I either want to look like the no makeup makeup look or I want to look like um, it's not going to impede with my eye color. So I got Pretty Naked. I really like that one. And then I also got Mauvette. 
which is just a really pretty mauve mauve blush color. I really just like the packaging of 100% Pure. I mean, they're obnoxious to store. I'm gonna have to figure out another storage solution. Solution, um, but they're it's really pretty. And then I also got peach. So I have a nice range of colors now: pink, neutrals, super bright colors, peaches. So I have a nice range of 100% Pure blushes now, and I really I really do like them a lot. So I'm excited to have six in my collection now. Who needs as much blush as I do? Not normal people. So then the rest of what I got are actually, can you guess what they are? <laughs> They're lipsticks. Um, it's actually the lip glazes. I had purchased most of the lipsticks during my last haul and I would only gotten four of the lip glazes because I wasn't sure how I would like the formula. Um, and there are a lot more colors of the lip glazes than there are of the lipsticks. There are 21 lip glaze colors and I had only gotten four of them. And the ones that I had tried, I really, 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 really liked. I can't even like describe the amount of love I have for the lip glazes, so I got nine more. <laughs> so they did offer one of these for $10 during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday thing. I can't remember which color it was now. Um, and then uh, most of these, there were three that were on their like retirement, so I don't know if they're, actually, they're discontinuing them or if they're just on sale because they're not as high of sellers as some of the other ones are. And then a bunch of others I picked up because I was looking at swatches online and I really like the colors. And, you know, now I've got 13 of them that I can do a huge, super huge swatch video for you guys eventually. So I got Cabernet. Actually, you know what? This one was the one that was the $10, the $10 Cyber Monday thing. So Cabernet. And then I got Fruit Punch, which I actually haven't opened yet, but it's like a, why am I showing you the tube if I can't show you the color? But it's like a fruity... It's like a fruity red. A lot of these are reds. Then I got pomegranate, which I can show you, because I took the I took the cover off that one. So see a lot. This one actually kind of looks similar in the viewfinder as Cabernet did, but I, they all look different, swatched, even though some of them might look more similar on camera. So then there is raspberry, which is another one I haven't opened yet. Then there's velveteen which is kind of similar to fig it looks like, but again, they don't look the same on as they do in the tube. Then there is cherry. It's like a darker red. They smell so good. I think that's part of the reason why I love them so much is they smell good. And I really like the formula. The formula stays really nice. They're really creamy and they're easy to apply. This one is strawberry. Another, another red color. Two more. Jill's waiting for me to play with her. Where's your thing? Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's a bottle cap. She loves bottle caps. Ready? Look at her. Look at her face. Watch her. She's a crazy one. This one is boysenberry, which I also have not opened yet. And then there is watermelon. That's the last one. So again, they're all, they, they look pretty similar on camera, but I mean, you'll have to wait until I do the swatch video so you can actually see what they look like on versus just in the tube because they're, they look similar. Yeah, you know. So that was everything that I got from 100% Pure. Um, I have gone through all of my Guilt City vouchers. I do not have any more left and I do not see myself buying any more from 100% Pure for quite some time, um, at least. Actually, I don't even know. But I've run out of things that I actually want because I was struggling with my last couple of vouchers of what I actually wanted to pick up, but that's where all these lip glazes came in is because I did really like that formula and I wanted to do like a massive swatch video. I would love to have all 21, but that's not realistic. <laughs> um, but I do like the colors that I got and I'm excited to wear them more and swatch them for you and review them eventually. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to link my first 100% pure haul video below down if you have not watched that. I'm sure that you have, but just in case, um, if you want to see that. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.